What is going on guys, this is Tom here and today I've got something very special for you. I do try and explain it when the video actually starts but I get a coffee cup thrown at me and I don't do it very well. So I'm just going to explain it very quickly. We're doing a Cap Gun Tom Stadium Challenge. We did alter it a bit. We we put stadiums in from different sports all around London. Uh, I can That will go in the description below. Um, and basically we split them off, we got them all off and looked at their location and put them into groups of three. And if you were to go to all of those three stadiums, you get an extra point. So I should probably talk about the whole thing first. Right, so the stadium challenge, basically, if you haven't seen Cat Gun Tom's uh, video, it'll be up here. Um, yeah, the, basically the stadium challenge is in or around London, uh, trying to get to as many stadiums as you can in a certain amount of time. Uh, we uh, chose six hours as we felt that was probably like enough time to get a decent amount of stadiums in and not so much they have become real, real effort. And yeah, um, you'll see that it does work quite well. I think that's it though. I'm, there's not really much else to it. I'll roll you into the vid. Let's go. What is going on guys? This is Tom here and I've got a very special video for you today. I'm going to do the stadium challenge basically. We're going to have six hours and we're going to try and get to as many stadiums in London as possible. The stadiums will be in the description. Right, 20 people here for the start of the stadium challenge. Guys, wait, it hasn't started yet. We're all going off in different routes. We've got five groups of people here and we are going to go. We are going to go soon. We're just waiting for the starter's orders for it to click to half past. Literally like 10 seconds. Go! Go! We're off! Why are you fighting to the bus? Right. Good luck, lads. <laughs> Jeez, never wait. We're not running down Edge Hill. We're never going to make it. Anyway, we're off. We're going to start at King's Meadow here. Catch a 1 3 1. And we should. Just end up right outside King's Meadow. Let's go. Right, we've reached our first ground, King's Meadow. There it is, nothing too special. Right, we have just been to Old Deer Park and now we are walking along to Twickenham. Navs is very happy with the performance, although he feels like he should be running the London Marathon. We should he run wants this! To, he wants to run around London. I, on the other hand, would like just a nice breezy walk all the way into Twickenham, see the sights, see a few statues, you know, it'll be all right. Just, just you know, see the sights and it'll be all right. Right, now we've made it to our third. We're at, made it to Twickenham. So this, we had a bit of a walk, probably about a 25 minute walk to Twickenham and now we're gonna head off to the stoop afterwards. Right, so now we've done Twickenham, we're just heading over to the stoop down another main road. Um, shouldn't be too long. Nava, what do you think? Oh, we're doing well. Got got a solid four points under hopefully, our rail. Hopefully we can, you know, overtake some of the other groups we've been in communication with them. On Some of them on five, so we'll have to just speed up the rate just slightly. And hopefully... We're doing this for Cap, Dun Cap Gun Tom. Cap Gun Tom, yeah, thanks very much for inspiring us. Right, we've now made it to the stoop. I, I really like the stoop, I think. It's one of the quality grounds. One of the better grounds in uh, club rugby. I think it's quite nice, nice LB stand over there. Um, where are we heading now? We're heading back to the station, go to Putney, hopefully get Craven Cottage in next. So yeah, we've made it to Craven Cottage, Naval's favourite ground, and now we are over to Stamford Bridge. Right, so after getting slightly lost, very lost. We, yeah, well, very lost, yeah. We went round the back way and realised we couldn't get through and that's... Took a wrong bus, but you know... Trying to be clever. We're there 15 minutes behind schedule. Oh, we're not going to Coming quit. up to the Britannia gate. And then we'll probably Whoa. head off back to... Back to Southfields. Not back to... But to Southfields. And get uh, a couple of... What are we getting? Wimbledon uh, Tennis and the Greyhound Centre. Stadium. Yeah, great, great, great house stadium. Right, so we're just coming up to Wimbledon Tennis. A bit, nothing, 
Got to catch a 493 straight after this, so I'm gonna jog this, gonna jog this bit. Navil's up for this. I've been doing a bit of footer training for this, for this moment. I have been preparing all my life. All of this, just for this bit. Whoa. That sprained ankle hasn't helped my fitness whatsoever. And this is a very jittery camera. Shh. Shh. Right, here we go. Woman and tennis. Oh. That's enough running for me. That'll keep me going. Here we go, Wimbledon tennis. How many, what, how many points are we on now? Seven. Seven points. That's eight points now. Eight points, including a bonus point for getting to the three stadiums round. Richmond and Twickenham. So we are now going to head to Wimbledon Stadium. Wimbledon Stadium. Okay. So right, we have now we've been to Wimbledon oh, Stadium. What? I have to do my hand sign. <laughs> now we've we've been to Wimbledon Stadium and now we're heading to Earlsfield Station to then get it and hopefully we could get in maybe the oval. It really depends how we're doing. But we didn't time. go to Queen. We didn't go to Queen. So we have just we've just absolutely legged it to a train to get onto uh, to That's the standard ball. thing. And um, so now yeah we're gonna head to the oval, hopefully pick up the oval, get back quickly. Then you, you can tell him about how we missed. Um, tell him about how we had to take it for the train. Yeah, no, that was that was effort. You know, up two flights of stairs and then back down one flight of stairs just to get on. Everyone was absolutely shattered. Right, so we have made it to the oval after a bit of a light jog. So we're at the oval here. It's a very nice ground. I go here quite often to watch a uh, cricket match or two. I love a bit of cricket. So now we're going to go to I think to the oval Northern Line station change along the bridge and head over to the O2. Here's the O2. Oh, here, here is the O2. That is pretty damn awesome. Wait, I no, no, no. no I th we, need, we need that majiggy. If we can get the two. Right, so we've managed to meet up with what, two of the other groups and apparently, somehow, after all our wrong turns, we are in the lead. So we'll have to see. We're going to head to Upton Park and we'll see what goes on. Fortunately, due to a mix of me running out of battery on my phone and Upton Park being a bit of a rush, we didn't get any video, but here is a little picture. Right, so here we are in the uh, Westfield Stratford. We've got... Oh, that's bright. Are you please? That is a very bright view of the Olympic Stadium. You can see it there. We have made it, Cab Gunton. We have done it. Um, I think we've got about 10 stadiums or something. I'll, I'll tell that later, but... We have done pretty well. Wow, what a day it has been, guys. We've, oh, it's been absolutely amazing. We did manage to go to 12 stadiums in the end, and oh, it was just a fantastic experience all around. I, it, was a, it was a great day out, and um, I was pretty pleased with myself. It was a really nice view of the Olympic Park at the end. Um, a couple of things. I'd just like to uh, first thank Cap Glanton for uh, coming up with this idea, and... Really, without him, we would have never ever thought of doing such a thing, and it's really good. I would encourage all of you to go out and try something like that, very similar. I'll put all the rules to uh, our way of doing it in the description below with a uh, little scoring system, just to make it a slightly more interesting. It is a lot better if you do it with your friends, because you got a bit of competition there. We did manage to win it, but we did tie with a couple of other groups, so... <laughs> Yeah, that was that was uh, quite quite interesting. How after six hours, groups still had to, uh, managed to tie. We did also when we were going round, we 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 bumped into some of the other groups, and that's just that's just pretty ridiculous to be honest. Like we the whole of London we could be in, and we're just bumping into people just who keep taking completely different routes. We just we just passed them in London. It really is actually a small place if you think about it. And the second thing I wanted to say was just thank you so, so much for um, 50 subs. It, it means so much to me and Nabs. Um, hopefully we can push on from here and go to the next landmark. 100, 100 subs would be nice very quickly. I'm going to keep going on with my series. Uh, my series is uh, Nabil's going to uh, bring out a few more trading episodes coming up very soon. But other than that, and what a great day the Stadium Challenge was. I believe that is all for me today, guys. And until next time, goodbye.